Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Impeccable Crafts. Today we're going to be focusing on making a 3D printed mold casing, mold housing uh, for your acrylic blanks. So this program here I use is called Vinyl Master. I use it to make decals, shirts, and it hooks up to my vinyl plotter to cut vinyl. Uh, I can go into that in later videos if you'd like. So per my girlfriend's request, she wanted a sunflower mold, about two and a half inches so she can make keychains. So what I'm doing here is turning the picture that I have into an SVG. Um, we need to change it into an SVG or else none of this process will work, especially through Tinkercad, which we're gonna import the file and actually make it a 3D model to 3D print. So she wants it about two and a half inches. We'll go ahead and size that up. And then what we're gonna do um, in some programs, I believe they call it the offset or a border, we're gonna make a nice border around this for the laser to cut. So that portion right there is gonna be the etched portion on the acrylic. And what we wanna do is make something just slightly bigger around it that the laser can cut the acrylic out. As I mentioned, I'm gonna go slightly bigger on that so it doesn't affect the detail. Looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and move over the part that's gonna be etched into there. You can see that it's slightly bigger, which is perfect. That's the way I like to make my blanks. I don't like to cut right on the detail, right on the line. Sometimes you get some laser flashing, kind of messes it up. So now we're gonna make the 3D printed mold casing. This process right here is the same thing we just did except we're gonna go a little bit bigger. You want it to be a little bit bigger so your silicone has room to flow around your blank. And in this program, I've noticed I like to go about six and a half, seven percent, and it gives it just enough room for it to fit nicely in there, as you can see. Looks good to me. So when we import an SVG into Tinkercad, anything that is white is gonna be a void. So we wanna make this portion white. And then we're gonna do the same process of making a border around that. That's what's gonna be solid. That's what's gonna be through. We'll go ahead and save that. Looks good to me. So that right there is our SVG that we're gonna to use to make the casing. I like to group that just so nothing gets messed up. So we'll go ahead and save this as an SVG. And as I mentioned, it needs to be an SVG in order for Tinkercad to even import it and convert it into a 3D model. So we'll save this. Again, you see I'm saving it as an SVG. And Tinkercad is an online program that I started using when I first started doing a lot of 3D printing. It's very simple. Um, you can actually get pretty advanced with it, but I mainly use it to import my files to make 3D casings. So this is Tinkercad. You can see there on um, the right hand side, it has a lot of simple shapes that you can use to make many different things. Um, I've seen people get really advanced with this. I'm pretty simple with it, but it works for me. So now we're going to import the file that we just saved. Sunflower, right there. It imports it pretty big, so I like to size them down to about 20 or 30 percent, and then actually change the dimensions to what I originally had in my editing software. So you can see there, what was white in our SVG is now a void in Tinkercad. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and change the dimensions to what we actually have in our editing software. Do that real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Get that 
final dimension. And that looks good to me. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I like to make my molds fairly thick. Make some more sturdy, better quality all around. Some people say it's a waste of silicone. I don't like to think of it like that. Uh, I like to think of them as quality molds. So six millimeters is our blank, our blank thick, uh, thickness. I'm just showing you a comparison here. I usually like to go about 15 or 16 millimeters on the actual casing. So you can see the difference. It just makes for a quality mold. So from here, we're gonna export this as an STL. An STL is a file that your 3D printing slicing software recognizes. I personally use Simplify 3D. It's something I've been using for five plus years now. It's been working for me, whatever works for you. So I already have the file in there imported. And when I'm 3D printing these, I like to keep decent layer lines around 0.2, just so there's not too much uh, actual layer lines on the outside of the mold, which doesn't really affect it, but it just makes for a better presentation. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get into a time lapse of the 3D print. It says it's gonna take about an hour. Uh, I believe it took about an hour and a half. But I'm going to crunch that down into about two minutes for you guys. Enjoy. There it is, and all its beauty. Came out great, didn't have no problems with it. So in our next video, I'm gonna show you the process of cutting out the acrylic blank. I should get that uploaded for you in the next couple days. So if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below. Subscribe if you like what we're doing, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.